Hey everyone, this is Michael T. Bradley. And J. Wilfred Neville. And we are back with uh, more uh, exploration in the world of Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. So far we've had some casual racism, and uh, last time Michael Dorn read us an entire book on voodoo, <laughs> so that was exciting. We do get to listen to Gabriel's misogynist internal dialogue as well, so that's great. That is also a bonus. You ready to pop back into it? Let's Let's hit it. I like the traffic noises on the map. Yeah, yeah. It makes me think maybe Gabriel could get run over. <laughs> oh, look, that's that map thing. We gotta get that piece of paper from the guy in the park. Map thing? The, it, the symbols we gave him? God, what is up with Nana Narrator? She is, like, high as a fucking kite here. That's cheerful. Well, it's more cheerful than a real snake, Gabriel. Speaking of snakes, Parazing really kind of let us down at the last place we were, which was the uh, Dr. John's voodoo shop. He didn't ask him about snakes, didn't click on the guy what fucking with his boy? head in the back. How's business today? About like everything. Nothing meaningful to be it's learned what you there. Call a market. No. Mind if I pick your brain a minute? Or your last. Oh, yeah. These folks ain't in no hurry. Yeah. Oh boy. Can you tell me this character can only be named Rufus, right? <laughs> Do we even know his name? Uh, maybe we'll ask him about himself about here soon. Voodoo? I don't really care to talk about it. I don't do it myself. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Well, these voodoo, these murders. <laughs> I don't think there's any real voodoo going on. Somebody trying to cover their tracks and all. By the way, have you seen my cartoon you bird around here anywhere? <laughs> I told you all I know about that. What can you tell me about New Orleans? It was founded and <laughs> seemed like everybody wants to New Orleans at least once in their life. And they love cemetery too. I see tourists in here every day of the year. Every damn day. Do you not get a day you off, dude? <laughs> snakes? I see snakes Is he actually a ghost? Oh. Uh, Are we talking to a ghost? Do you know anything about snakes? I don't mind snakes myself. Lots of folks are afraid. All right. Well, we can ask him multiple times about snakes. I guess that makes up for the for the lack of snakes in the last scene. Why, St. John the Baptist is the patron saint of Buddha. Sometimes Who's the patron snake of Voodoo? More often a few nights in the boat. People taking grave dirt, bones, and moat. That's pretty disgusting. That's kind of judgy of you, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your white privilege and your sexual harassment is kind of <laughs> disgusting. You ever think about that, Gabriel? <laughs> no, no, can't say that I do. If only Tell we had a French to English dictionary that we could look one word at a time up in. Tell me about <laughs> My name is Toussaint Gervais. Oh, I'm his name's Toussaint. Not, what exactly do Rufus. You do? Not Rufus. Most oh, people I just call me Rufus. <laughs> but a big part of my job too is looking out for the greedy ones, you know. People come to pay their respects, and they need looking out for. Sometimes they so grief bound they don't know what they doing. What? Uh, what? Tell me something about St. Louis Cemetery. The people come to this ancient historical no ceremony. <laughs> ceremony? Cemetery, and are so grief bound the that they fall into open graves and shit, I guess. Right <laughs> <laughs> they fall into the graves, then shit? That's really strange. <laughs> they don't have any public restrooms. <laughs> Tell me something about St. Louis Cemetery. We're number one. Woo! So I don't really remember the movie, but this actor who's playing this voice was Eight Ball in Full Metal Jacket. Tell me something about Eight Ball. Yeah. Hmm. I don't remember that character. Me either. But then again, I didn't like Full Metal Jacket. So. Do you know That's because you're a monster. Joe, Joe, she was the voodoo queen of New Orleans. 
a powerful Apparently he had the line, this is me fucking around on IMDb now, he had the line, Oh shit! This baby song looks like she can suck the chrome off a trailer hitch. Okay, I know what character we're talking about now. As a matter of fact, that big Dr. John fella from the Voodoo Museum, he's here at least once today. Once today or once a day? Oh, he said it wrong, it's Marie Laveau. Other marked tunes. You said there were other marked tunes? <laughs> yep. I seen bull hearts left on tunes and a nest of vaulted pepper. Flakes of peas and corn green. They was and delicious. Parts, human parts even look like nail parts, if you get my meaning. I don't, I don't understand. Could you, Could you please be more specific? Could you perhaps point it out on my to. body? <laughs> what other tunes get marked? Can you show me? Well, this one right here has some snake urine on it. I don't like to encourage that kind of thing. It's distressing to the family, and right? And so, don't know how that sort of thing gets started. Why folks come to start leaving stuff at that one spot. But it happens all the same. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> if only there were some mockings around here. <laughs> So, you know, th th those, I this think, are kind of like the markings that, that were on the sheet of paper that we gave to the artist. That's what I was trying to say. Mm. Well, let's take a picture of them with our Polaroid camera. Mmm. The marks are reddish in color and reminds Gabriel of Cross. Like I'm thinking, if um, if we get the uh, if we get the artist to give us like the correct order, then we push the buttons and like it pop the door pops open and two opens. And yeah, out comes a snake. We better hurry and get in there before these weeping As angels get us. <laughs> There's one don't. thing I can tell you, boys: don't even blink. <laughs> blink and your dad. No panties. Somebody got the job, illustrate a piece of red brick, and that's what they came up with. <laughs> oh, we're going to use our book to take a photograph. Oh, copy of these oh. strange marks. <laughs> it's, it's the 90s. <laughs> I thought perhaps he was going to uh, press the book up against each piece. I like that at least in this game they give a our protagonist a big coat so it's slightly believable he's carrying all these things. Right. Oh look, another this marked tomb. tomb. Is in a sorry state of that tomb has a bad There's case of alopecia. <laughs> Sexually an harassed angel the statue. With a cross stands guard over one of the tombs. Are you an angel? Cause you look like you just fell from heaven. <laughs> and also your legs are New crushed Orleans horribly. Is famous for its above ground <laughs> the high water table prevents bodies from being interred. See, I... I think this must have been at the end of the recording session because not a narrator is like heavily medicated here. <laughs> she does seem to be slurring and speaking more slowly. For the day. Hello, I'm Snakey the Snake. <laughs> oh, back to the map. All We're right. Going to, oh yeah, we gotta go see Marisha Moonbeam or I think it's Martinia. Magentia. Magentia. She well, has no nose. You must be the one Dr. John called me about. I guess so. My name is... Wait. Gabriel Nye. <laughs> That's... You're too quick to he, he called you and told right. you his name. Yeah. That's not an impressive feat of psychic <laughs> prowess. Actually, Dr. John told me... Wah, wah. You have come to the right place. Tell me how I can... Cannot touch your boobs. <laughs> that should really just be his go to line no matter what. She looks vaguely mysterious and mysteriously vague. A large crystal ball is prominently displayed. Strangely glowy, too. 
Yeah, well, you know, that happens. The mask is made of carved wood and looks Africa. A large sluggish snake rests on oh the floor God. of the snakes. Snakes, more snakes. Birdcage. Ask the snake about snakes. <laughs> Magenta is not a fastidious house. Oh, can we go get their shed skin? Oh yeah, we're taking that. It's a large Turn up her heat so that she has to take off her dress and then tell her to go get us coffee. <laughs> then we can grab that snakeskin. No worries. Junk! Oh, she's feeling peppy today, not a narrator. Would you like to look at my junk? In fact, he went on at great length about what kind of voodoo you practice, but I didn't really pay attention. What can you tell me about? Voodoo? I was busy l looking him up mentally in IMDb. such as Grigory and voodoo oils. You know, everything from unrequited love to wandering spouses to winning a lawsuit. But my spells and charms are powerful. I, we have now work. asked so many people about voodoo and gotten so many mm. answers that I'm like, I don't really have anything interesting or funny to say anymore. That has nothing to do with me and my clientele, but I can tell you that you should stay as far from it as possible. There is badness there. Very bad. Wait, what did we ask about there? Michael Jackson's house, I think. Oh, okay. What can you tell me about New Orleans? New Orleans is the center of voodoo practice in the United States. Not the geographical center, obviously. Oh, no, come on! What a blue ball there, Paris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Not really. Well, then, I don't. We should put Grace on that. But she'd figure it out, and she'd find out how much Cabri Saint Cor makes a year. St. John's Eve? <laughs> it is the greatest night of the voodoo year. There is always a traditional conclave on Really? We got points for asking about that? Don't we know most of this stuff already? Functions in church hall. But in the old days, they had ceremonies out in the wild. And they wore animal masks and had a huge bonfire and dancing. I used to go when I was a princess. A carpenter's apprentice. I don't know why that really related, but... Sometimes the lake, Lake Fort Chartres. Oh wow, Ooh, she, she said it all fancy. Yeah, Pont Pont Chartres. Chartres. Plain. 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 I can't do that. I, saw them used once or twice when I, was younger, I actually used the pop filter to keep my phlegm know. off of my <laughs> microphone when I <laughs> <laughs> say things all Frenchily. Just bad karma. Bad karma. You mean karma. <laughs> <laughs> Just bad karma. What's the thing? Didn't we just ask that? Special ceremonies are performed, and the lower come to ride the faithful. Oh, how do Wait. I become a faithful? Wait. Do you know anything <laughs> about Marie Laveau? We know oh, more yes. than enough about Marie Laveau. She was, in fact, two people, the mother and the daughter. The older, that's <laughs> the mother. What would you like to hear? They were both little people, so they would take turns being the top in half the in a trench coat. With the great queen of heaven. Really? Who's she? She's the great queen, She's you stupid fuck! I just... She's a snake over there in the corner. She told me everything I know. I'm to get that impression, yes. What kind of people come to see you? Bipedal ones, mostly. Do you do anything else? Is she... I, I, I have this... Terrible feeling that she's going to mostly give us a new map place to go to, where we talk to somebody else and ask them all these same questions and get slightly different answers. <laughs> and this this game is just going to be a fractal, like it will never end. At one point, we will ask ourselves these questions, like a future version of ourselves, or, well, a '90s version of ourselves. I haven't always lived in New Orleans. I came here from Kansas as a young woman. Then why do you have a southern accent? Did you keep telling yourself when you came here, carry on, my wayward son? I am well versed in magic law. I can't think of anything. Very well. 
We haven't sexually harassed her yet. You cannot Any leave. Example of a creep, creep. All right. Here's an old one. Take a lodestone and some brimstone to a crossroads at midnight. You know what's better than that is just get some sleep and you could probably like play blackjack better. <laughs> so you do all of that and the ghost comes and says, Never hit on a 16 and then disappears. <laughs> Quite deadly really just in any shape, way, shape or form. Oh, 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 come on Gabriel, really? Uh, about the... Nothing when she talked about, about handling snakes? Wow, we... Oh my god, I'm so happy that asking about snakes opened up an entire new line of questioning. So I offered to buy She's named after a spirit guide I had once. The spirit Grimwald was a very powerful female Grimwald was a powerful Jewish. Funny, she doesn't look Druish. <laughs> How'd you learn to handle Really? That's the that. Oh my God! Did Gabriel become enlightened while we weren't looking? Because he hasn't oh. sexually harassed her yet. Well, he didn't say. How'd you learn to handle snakes? <laughs> Would you consider giving me one of Grimwald's scales? No, I couldn't do that. You might do some Gregory of your own. No, one must be very careful with such things. Nail it it kind of feels like can I have some of your nail clippings? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Really? You would like to see me dance? That would be swell. Turgid even. That was that was a dick joke, right? <laughs> no matter what you see. Leave the dick jokes to us, Gabriel. I'll give it my best shot. Oh yeah, oh yeah, somebody get me some singles. <laughs> now trip her and go run and grab the snake scales and leave. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, nothing going on. You yeah. go grab the shit snake skin while magenta is otherwise occupied. Th that Not a narrator just said magenta. Yeah, she doesn't, not a narrator <laughs> don't give a fuck. <laughs> The way she handled her at the end there, it looked like it was a stuffed snake. That's certainly one word for it. <laughs> Snake's been dead for years, actually. <laughs> Here, let me etch this against your chest. Do symbols mean anything to you? Ah, oh, the voodoo code. He did very The voodoo things. code. I studied it with my <laughs> mentor. It's a new Dan happened. Brown novel. Right. Oh, wait, that's the name of Gabriel's right. novel. <laughs> it's like the Bible yeah, code, it's... except Michael well, Dorn narrates it. Some of it is nonsense, yeah. I'm afraid. Whoever wrote this wasn't very good. That's all right. Just tell me what it says. It starts with a D and J. And then, okay, this part makes sense. It says wet cash. Concrete, <laughs> spring. Sweat. Then there's more nonsense. F W E T. Oh god, they're aliens. So that last bit might mean cash. Fresh cash? It doesn't make much sense. That's okay. Fwetkish. Now we gotta go find look in the phone book for Fwetkish. I'm happy I can Have we met anyone with the initials DJ yet? I'm trying to think. Uh Dr. John, right? Uh, yeah. We're just doing this right in front of us. Just stole it from her. The snake scales are food brown. They don't match the scale from Le Pontchartrain. 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 Sacre bleu. I guess I'll be gone now. Thanks for the snake scale. I mean, uh. <laughs> The only vice is the absence of What? <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> you know, I've tried going into random women's houses and asking them to dance with a snake for me, but it really never ends that well. I'm surprised Gabriel got as far as he did there.
Yeah, I do it too. Arraigned but acquitted. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. Can we go talk to Gator Jesus, please? <laughs> I hope he gets a like a he, he gets enthralled with her and we go flirt with her and pretend to be a police officer next <laughs> or her Yorkie yeah <laughs> just tell me any old thing <laughs> Tell me about snakes. Now he's gonna be like, they're lavender. Ha ha ha! I'm so cool, swindling white people. <laughs> You put nine pinheads up in a little box, add a pinch of graveyard dust, and put it under. Wow, the this is really um. Step. This game just doesn't that stop with the voodoo stuff, huh? <laughs> and she'll be the one with the better aid. I have the pins and the dust. That's it. If the blessed virgin will grant me her protection, I'll be safe from these practitioners of evil. If I had a nickel for every time I've said that. Old lady. Yeah. She's probably the leopard woman. Well, thanks for translating there, buddy. That means goodbye. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got to hang out during that scene. <laughs> Go sexually harass Gator Jesus. Do it. So, this is the voodoo store, huh? Voodoo? Wow. Man, this is Haven't we been shop. here before and asked him that? My... Is it all just kind of blending together at this point? I think that he's actually animatronic. Yeah. I buy it. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Whatever, man. Oh, God. We even get a close-up interrogation scene with this dude? That customer of yours. The little old lady. Customer? The woman I saw in here. Madame Casano, you call her. I don't talk about my customers, the men who come in off the street. Women, however. <laughs> Show him the police badge. Do you know anything about animal masks? Like the ones in the voodoo rituals they do for the tourists? No, I right. mean masks I that animals wear when they rob <laughs> banks the only one so they don't get really caught. Juice. Oh, the old crocodile, Gator Jesus. Willie Jr., his dad is Willie Sr. or God. Can you tell me anything else about how <laughs> animal masks are used? They're curiosities, no? This year is a curio shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, what? I keep forgetting. About Willie Jr., would you be... Oh, to... hell yeah. We might be getting Gator hmm. Jesus. Maybe. $100, $100 for Gator $100. Jesus? Damn, that's not $100 bad. $100 that's a deal. You gotta be kidding. Me and Willie Jr. are very close now. Who part with him for less? Just, just steal him. Just ask about Can snakes. Can you tell me anything else about how animal masks are used? They're curiosities, no? This here is a curio shop. All oh, right, yeah. animatronic. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Would you take 50 for Willie Jr.? Don't insult me, monsieur. The price is $100. There's a totally fair price for that damn gator thing. <laughs> you could have lost themed parties. And uh, put on your own, like, staging of Peter Pan. Sure. No. Most people wouldn't know that it's an alligator instead of a crocodile, right? I I wouldn't. I don't know anything about alligators or crocodiles either. It's humid out there. Made it back though. Oh boy, party time. Excellent. <laughs> Slowly walk. Now just rubber. Seen just rubber. Movies? Not too hard. I saw a great documentary last night on permanent excavations. 
You mean small, dark places that haven't been touched in centuries? Sounds right up your alley. That's a well, yeah. That's a vagina joke, right? Yeah. Because I want to crawl up inside your small dog plate. What, what are we? I'm not quite sure. I got the metaphor here, What's Grace. <laughs> Request research on snakes. Oh, for the love of God, Gabriel! What more could we possibly learn? About Just Marie Laveau. About Do you know anything about animal masks? Uh, I'd really rather not hear about your sex life, Mike. <laughs> Do you have messages for me? Nope. None right now. Are you sure? Not even a message from my grandma. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? I need you to look up a Madame Casanou. Madame Casanou? Is she related so, to the murders the same way your this friend? Is, I, it's just, just creepy place? how the only things that we right. can research is, at least is like, gossiping, basically. <laughs> well, that's Grace's I'll specialty. She Anything watches else? a lot of Louisiana TMZ. I can't think of anything. <laughs> okay. Grace, it's you're dead to me. Shop. Oh, so oh, is it? Oh, last night. it's almost time for DOS 3. All right. DOS 3. You too. See you tomorrow. Okay, so Not we'll just end this. We'll just end this one a little early. That's fine. Uh. Okay, and then we get the end of the day, and then and nightmares. Cue nightmares. Cue nightmares. <laughs> Go, nightmares. All right. Well, <laughs> it looks like uh, we have reached the exciting conclusion of another day in the life of Gabriel Nett. <laughs> and uh, uh, we will see you here next time. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville, and we are...